Gifts are pretty unique cultural practice, usually for us lucky ones. It shows up quite early in our lives, as early as our first birthday. And from that time, they most probably keep on getting lower in number, eventually getting to a place where you get no gifts. Of course, there's also this phenomena of gifts evolving as you grow older. They get more personal, more individual, or for a lack of a better term, more mature. Like the Harry Potter movie series. The movies kept on getting darker with their themes and representations as their fan base went from kids to early adults. A gift can last three days, three months, three years, or for a lifetime. Some mean the love of your life at the moment you got them. For the PlayStation 2. <laughs> The best entertainment system to hit the to hit the world. Humans tend to fall out of love pretty easily. Some are just to eat dust. So technically you will be having them for a long time. On the top of a shelf. Concert tickets, tickets to a vacation, expensive jewelry, handmade gifts. Something that doesn't cost much but is almost extinct these days and has a nostalgic value to the person you're gifting it to. Gifts, if seen as their own individual thing, separate from the birthdays, anniversaries or celebration of any event. What do they mean? What do they stand for? To put it generally, it is a means for one person to tell another person that I am glad this event happened in your life. My sister will be leaving for college quite soon and I am happy and I am sad. I am not that sad about her leaving us because I will be getting this room. This table will be my table. A win is a win. I am actually sad about where our relationship will end up. People mostly take their blood relationships for granted. But I'm not a fool to think that just sharing DNA and some arbitrary time with a person is a foolproof way to be sure that this very complicated way of human companionship will work. How much will she change? Will I become an out of touch boomer for her, whose presence annoy her? Or a family member who could never really figure it out and is an embarrassment and a burden now? From now onwards, I'll technically be turned into a past. That will be revisited approximately every six months, maybe. People eventually forget their past. I will too. Or I'll have to, because what other option do I have? As an elder brother, you always feel this pressure or have this desire to, to be the coolest figure to look up to for your younger siblings. And as they grow older, this task keeps on getting more and more difficult. The questions get way tougher to answer. They even start teaching you stuff you had no clue about. They acquire new friends, they spend more time with their new friends, they are busy, and so are you, or at least you try to, so that you don't overthink. And one day, the myth bursts into tiny tiny pieces. You're just another human being, just like everybody else. So all you have is the past, and I want this gift to remind her of this past.